Dinosaur Kale, Lacinato, grow it and enjoy hearty versatile greens. Dinosaur Kale, also known as Lacinato Kale or Tuscan Kale, is an excellent choice for a nutritious health boost. With its dark green leaves and unique texture, it is a great way to add flavor and nutrition to your meals. It's high in fiber, vitamins A and C, and minerals such as calcium, iron, and potassium. It also contains powerful antioxidants that can help fight inflammation and protect your cells from damage. Adding dinosaur kale to your diet can help you meet the recommended daily servings of fruits and vegetables for optimal health. Here are a few facts about dinosaur kale. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Dinosaur kale originated in Italy and has long been cultivated. It is a garden staple in the Tuscany region. Other names that refer to this vegetable are Cavolo Nero, Toscano, and Nero di Toscana. This is a low-maintenance plant that also has the added advantage of being frost-tolerant. The embossed crinkly bumpy look of the dark blue-green colored leaves resembles dinosaur skin, or so we think. This biennial leafy green reaches maturity in two or three months, reaching a height of 24 inches to 36 inches. It grows in USDA zones 2 to 11 without a problem. This type of heirloom kale is generally planted in the fall or spring as the plants thrive in cooler weather. One of the best features of this dark green vegetable is that the leaves will retain their color and firm texture even through long cooking processes and can be easily added to stews and soups. Growing this beautiful plant is simple and well worth the trouble, as its two feet long leaves pack a punch of vitamins and healthy nutrients. Propagation of Dinosaur Kale or Lacinato Kale Dinosaur kale, also known as Lacinato kale, thrives in cooler climes and can be planted in early spring or late summer. Be sure to choose a location with full sun and rich, well-draining soil. It can be propagated either through seed sowing or by taking cuttings. For seed sowing, the seeds should first be soaked overnight in lukewarm water. They can then be planted about one quarter inch deep in a pot filled with moist soil. The pot should be kept in a warm and sunny location until the seedlings emerge, which usually takes 7 to 14 days. Once the seedlings have emerged and show two or three true leaves, they can be transplanted into individual pots to grow larger before being transferred to their final growing location. If taking cuttings, select healthy stems with plenty of leaves and several nodes on them. Cut the stem just below one of the nodes and dip it into rooting hormone powder if desired. Plant the cutting into moist soil up to the first node and keep it in indirect sunlight until new growth appears. Once established, it can then be transplanted into its final growing location. Light Requirement Dinosaur kale, thrives in cooler climates and can be planted in early spring or late summer. Dinosaur kale does best in full sun to partial shade. It can tolerate some shade but will produce better yields and have more vibrant foliage with at least 6 hours of direct sunlight each day. The best soil for dinosaur kale. Dinosaur kale prefers soil that is rich, well-draining, and slightly acidic. It should be amended with plenty of organic matter, such as compost or aged manure, to help retain moisture and provide the necessary nutrients for optimum growth. To ensure a good dinosaur kale crop, keep the soil consistently moist but not soggy. Additionally, adding a layer of mulch around the base of the plants can help maintain consistent soil temperatures and reduce weeds. Watering. Moist but not soggy is the best soil condition for dinosaur kale. It is a relatively drought-tolerant plant but needs to be watered frequently. It is best to thoroughly drench the soil when watering and allow it to dry out between waterings. Soggy soil is not suitable for plants. Moist soil is what works best for dinosaur kale. It would be best if you watered your dinosaur kale once every week or two during the growing season and less often during the cooler months. Ideal humidity and temperature. Kale is a cold hardy crop, meaning it can tolerate low temperatures. For optimal growth, dinosaur kale should be grown in temperatures between 55 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 to 24 degrees Celsius. Humidity levels for growing dinosaur kale should be kept at around 70% fertilizers and feeding. To ensure that dinosaur kale grows to its fullest potential, fertilizing and feeding are essential. Fertilizer. Use a balanced fertilizer, such as the 10th of October 10, once or twice during the growing season. 
apply according to the directions on the package, as overfertilizing can damage the plant. Feeding. Feed dinosaur kale with compost tea or liquid fish emulsion every two weeks during the growing season. Alternatively, feed with a slow-release fertilizer such as granular organic fertilizer or an all-purpose 5-5-5 fertilizer at half the recommended rate every few months. Managing Dinosaur Kale Pests and Diseases Common pests affecting dinosaur kale include aphids, caterpillars, cabbage loopers, cutworms, flea beetles, and slugs. Plant diseases that can affect dinosaur kale are black rot, caused by Xanthomonas campestris, downy mildew, and clubroot. Harvesting and storage. Dinosaur kale can be harvested by cutting the plant's bottom leaves with a sharp knife or scissors. Harvesting should take place in the morning for the best flavor and texture. The leaves will store best if kept in a sealed plastic bag in the refrigerator. Kale can keep up to five days when stored this way. It is also possible to freeze dinosaur kale for up to six months. To do this, blanch the leaves first in boiling water for one minute and then cool them quickly before freezing. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.